What's up, everyone? The Retro Gamer Rant in here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. I just wanted to do a uh, quick first impressions video for you guys on an early access game, free to play, FPS, MOBA, whatever you want to call it. I I don't I don't know. Uh, I, I don't. I guess it's MOBA. That's what. But it is Paladins, which is a free to play FPS MOBA, if you must. And a lot of people are comparing it to Overwatch, being like a free to play version of it. And there surely can be a lot of comparisons, probably. I'm not going to be doing that here because I haven't played Overwatch. I've watched people play Overwatch on Twitch TV and stuff like that, but I've never played it myself because you have to pay money for this. This came out and uh, I downloaded it. I had some trouble getting it to launch because of the high res launcher was all messed up on my computer. So I got that figured out and I finally was able to play it and I had a lot of fun. And it's still early on, still early access, so they're still working on it. But over Overall, um, Mad Dog came over today, did a live stream, I've uploaded it, you can see some of my horrible noob playing on that. But overall, there's a ton of really awesome characters to play as. My main man right now is uh, Makoa, which is a turtle, basically a tank. He can throw up a shield, he can go into turtle spinny mode, and he has a hook, a big giant uh, anchor that he can throw and rope people in. But there's other kind of uh, characters out there, that you have uh, healers, you have damage characters, characters you have support characters that kind of whatever your kind of play style you can kind of do you know if you want to be a main healer you can go with Grover who is basically uh, Groot light you know you can say Groot cousin of Groot if you want to be a flanker or a stealth you can go with Sky who can turn invisible and sneak around enemy lines and try to attack people from behind that kind of stuff you know you got sniper classes kind of like Cassie and support classes like Barrack that kind of stuff and Ruckus is another uh, damage character and kind of tank character and they'll have special skills and ultimates and kind of uh, can level them up and get money to buy new skins for them and stuff right now but for the most part there isn't really a lot right now in the form of skins and faces and weapon skins it's mostly just recolors uh, only a couple characters kind of have straight up costume changes and stuff so I'm sure they're gonna add more of that later uh, right now uh, there's a card system that you can uh, use which kind of gives you your loadout the card system kind of gives you extra perks to your abilities you can add more health to your character you can buff some of your abilities to make them stronger or heal you or that kind of stuff it just depends on the character as you play the game you get chests that you can unlock uh, as of right now you don't need keys for them hopefully they won't add that later but you just get a chest you unlock it and you can get new cards it's always random what cards they are and for what character it is so sometimes depending on what your main character is or your secondary character you might not always get a card but uh, I did get the founders pack it is free to play you don't have to worry about paying money but I did get the founders pack which at the time was at $13 sale so that meant I was able to get access to all the heroes all the champions from now on forward so they're always unlocked if you don't have the uh, founders pack you still get a about half the champions for the most part a couple of them are locked so I think it's like weekly or every other day or something maybe they unlock different champions to play as so one of your favorite champions might not be there so you might have to be forced to play as someone else and which it does kind of you can't have multiple characters in a match depending on how you're playing so uh, I, I know in overwatch you can have multiple of the same class and this one once someone picks that class no one else can so it kind of is one of those things where once you get into a match you gotta quickly click on who you want and hope you get it before someone else wants it that kind of stuff uh, when you start a match there's a couple of different ones there's a classic uh, uh, hold the point the longest uh, from the enemy until you get enough points then afterwards a uh, a cart will show up and you have to push that cart into the enemy's uh, base or area and that's way you, uh, and you can win that way or you just win by holding that point multiple times even if you don't manage to push the cart there is a, a classic push the cart a la tf2 uh if you want where you uh there's a defender and then there's a pusher then you have to just right from the start you have a cart and you gotta push it all the way or try to get as close as you can to the uh, enemy's base before time runs out and that's pretty fun to play as well uh, ultimately the, the modes right now they're still shallow but there are a lot of levels and uh, with my playthrough I did with Mad Dog the other day 
And there was multiple levels I played in. Some of them I enjoyed more than others. One of them I just kept falling off the edge into the water. Of course, me not knowing the level, that made it kind of uh, easy for me to do. But there's uh, the levels are fairly well laid out. I know a lot of times I was on the uh, offense, so I didn't get to explore the level that much. I would usually end up just pushing the cart, and since I was a uh, defense character for the most part, uh, I would be the one near the cart the most because I'd be able to take the most damage. So it doesn't really cause me to wander that much and try to find more choke points in that. So I can't really tell you that much right now about how wonderful the layout is, but ultimately they're all aesthetically appealing. All the characters have a very cartoony look, almost a World of Warcraft kind of look to them, but I enjoyed them all. The game ran smoothly, and I didn't have any hiccups whatsoever while playing. I live streamed the game. Mad Dog was sitting using my internet, my wife was streaming uh, television in the other room, and I had nearly a hiccup. And yes, I do have cable internet, so there's that as well, but usually, sometimes, even with cable internet, I might run into problems every now and then when multiple people in the house are using the internet. But in this case, not so much, and so I was really happy with how well everything hooked up. Uh, when it comes to balance and stuff, again, I only played as one character so far. I tried playing as Groot Wannabe, uh, and I completely failed at it. Uh, I think that's in the live stream. I can't remember if I left it in or not, or if I tried editing it out, but uh, yeah, I wasn't good at that character. So it's all about trying to find the character you want, and if that's the case, then maybe I would recommend getting the Founders Pack just so your character is always available, because sometimes if you get really good at playing one certain character and then next week that character's not there well what are you gonna do then you know uh, on the other hand I do think that that is a interesting way of doing stuff because it kind of forces you to become good at multiple characters and multiple classes kind of makes you a more well-rounded player me I'm more of those kind of person that just sticks to what I know and I'm always kind of afraid to dive into something I'm not quite as familiar with you know so it'll take me a little while to maybe get used to someone else like I said I I played as Makoa for most of uh, the live stream the other night and then when I tried playing as a healer class ah uh, well I healed so I did my job but that's just another thing about it like e even if you're a defender class a lot of the uh, big I, I think I'm saying that I don't know if they're the defender class or the heavy class a lot of them have shields of some kind uh, in my case with Makoa I can just put up a big dome around me and my everyone around me think uh, Fernando he has a front shield uh, you get points for that every time you put up a shield uh, you get points for shielding. If you're a healer, you get points for healing. So even if you don't feel like you're contributing to the match, at least with a kill-death ratio, uh, you're always contributing with something. So that means you're able to uh, still feel like you're doing something in the game, uh, even though you might not have the highest kill count, or uh, you might not feel like you're on the front line that much. I mean, if you want to be a healer and stay back, and just do your best to keep your teammates alive, then you can do that. Although, all the healers are still very capable of attacking and holding their own in a fight, which is kind of nice, because I wouldn't recommend taking on a tank, but, you know, healers are usually a little faster, so maybe you can. I got took out by Pip multiple times in one match. Again, I'm kind of a noob, so who knows, and Pip is a healer character and really fast, so you don't feel completely uh, stuck. Uh, but also remember, you're there as support, so make sure you keep an eye on your... Uh, teammates as well but so that's really fun as well uh, I like I said the cards are a very unique feature it's always fun to unlock new ones and mess around uh, I made a loadout for my character called anchors away because I liked using uh, the anchor grapple with uh, Makoa where you hook someone reel them in and you can just start pounding on them uh, useful a lot of the time so you can kind of build a class based on what your play f uh, is uh, if I wanted to I could have built my character class to be more around my shielding so I could be more of a protective character and uh, keep my shield up longer and the shield can take more damage so you can kind of build a loadout that gives you perks that kind of gives you strengths and what you're best at with a character and that's really really fun I'm gonna keep with this I'm gonna try and play some more I don't get to play as much as some people but it's uh, fun and well-rounded it's not too competitive right now it's not like you're gonna get yelled at for being a noob at least I haven't yet as long as you hold your own and you do the job of the class you're doing you know then uh, I think you should be fine uh, so overall I'm really happy with Paladins right now it's uh, still in early access and we all know with free-to-plays after things get out of early access things can get a little weird 
But as of right now, it feels like the only thing you're going to have to worry about uh, when it comes to uh, actual in-game money is maybe uh, unlocking champions, which, again, you can do that with in-game currency that you gain, so you don't have to worry about paying real money for that either. If you really do want to play as a certain champion that's locked uh, on a certain day, you can use your in-game currency that you have built up to unlock that champion so you can play as them. And same with cards. You don't have to wait to get the cards and a chest. You can actually unlock the cards uh, with your in-game currency. So you're not, like, completely uh, handcuffed that way. Uh, you can also use real money as well. But I don't think it's really going to give you an advantage over anyone else, for the most part. And that's what's most important when it comes to uh, a free-to-play, at least in my opinion, that you don't feel like the people who are spending money are getting an unfair advantage over the people who aren't. Because let's face it sometimes you know people are gaming on a budget and if they want a, a, a I guess overwatch like experience which again I'm not gonna compare it to overwatch uh, on a budget they have bills to pay or they don't you know they're in college and they have to worry about eating that week or something then and I, I hate it when a free-to-play comes out of early access or beta and all of a sudden it turns into one of these games where it more or less favors the person who puts a little money in or a lot of money in in some cases cases. There's been a lot of games that I early on really enjoyed that sort of turned into a pay-to-win format, and uh, that kind of upset me. Uh, and I hope this game doesn't turn into that. So far, so fun, and uh, as long as I wish I could tell you more about balance issues and stuff like that, but like I said, this is sort of an early access, first impressions, only played a little bit kind of stuff. But really fun, worth checking out, it's free to play, go on Steam, download it. But yeah, Paladin's uh, free to play, first impressions really fun. I hope to maybe stream some more sometime or get some more videos up of it if I get an opportunity to because it was a really fun experience when Mad Dog was over and we were doing it and so uh, I might do it again if people want to. So there you go folks. Uh, tell me what you think about it down below. If you've played Paladins, what your favorite class is, uh, what you think is balanced, what you think is misbalanced uh, and how much you're enjoying it. And as always if you did enjoy this video do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe and tell your friends because when you do you you are doing me a favor and letting me know I'm doing my job, which is hopefully entertaining you. And as always, till next time, game fans, keep playing, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.